I'm Dr. Rosebud Roberts. I'm an Associate Professor of Epidemiology in the Division of Health Sciences Research at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. In our study, we found that men and women who had atrial fibrillation at the beginning of the study, based on a review of their medical record, had a 1.76-fold increased risk of mild cognitive impairment during the course of their follow-up. This was specifically an increased risk of non-amnestic mild cognitive impairment, which is the type of mild cognitive impairment that's where memory is not impaired, but there's impairment in other aspects of cognition, such as thinking, judgment, abstracts, uh, reasoning and processing. We also found that the increased risk was particularly greater in women who had atrial fibrillation than in men. In women, the risk was 2.89 fold higher in those who had a history of atrial fibrillation compared to those who did not. Whereas in men, it was only 1.33 fold increased and the difference in men was not statistically significant between those who had atrial fibrillation and those who didn't. What is interesting about our study is this sex difference. Because in general, atrial fibrillation is more common in men than in women. However, when we looked, when we looked at men who had atrial fibrillation and men who didn't, we did not find a very big difference in their risk of non-amnestic mild cognitive impairments. But we found this big difference in women. So this means there's something else going on in women that increases their risk of non-amnestic mild cognitive impairments when they have atrial fibrillation. And that's something that is relatively new that others have not reported on and that is important for physicians to be aware of. What is important to recognize is that atrial fibrillation is only one of a number of other heart conditions. And we realized that in our study, women who had other heart conditions besides atrial fibrillation also had an increased risk of non-amnestic mild cognitive impairments. These conditions typically have also been associated with vascular dementia. This means that it's very important for women to recognize that they are at a greater disadvantage when they have abnormal heart conditions. And so to be very diligent about seeking care, receiving their annual evaluations, so that if there's any abnormality, it can be detected early by their physicians and hopefully with appropriate treatments we can reduce their risk of cognitive impairment and ultimately hopefully we can reduce their risk of dementia as well.